What up, gamers, tubers, rab dog here. Today I'm going to change the thermal grease on my graphics cards and remove this black outer casing for better airflow. As you can see, I've already done my other card. I'm doing this for better cooling. So, what you would need for this is some new thermal grease. I am using zero therm. You'll need a small Phillips screwdriver and a card. Now you might also want to check your manufacturer because doing this supposedly voids your warranty. It's pretty simple. I've done it a thousand times. I'm doing it again. I run two of these in crossfire. They're pretty close together. And it's pretty warm. So here we go. Now on the 6870 Pretty much all graphic cards are the same, but here on this ATI model, the 6870, as I've already done the other card, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to remove these four screws. I'm going to do it in a crisscross pattern, and that will separate the heat sink and fan from the card. So that's next. Okay, I have removed those four screws, given a slight wiggle, and they separate very easily. Next, what you want to do is you want to unplug. Usually there is a plug, it's a fan control. Mine is right here, so I'm going to unplug that. Then, you know, you clean these up better. I have better access to the screws, and I can take that black plastic case off. As you can and may not see, there is the thermal grease on there. Stock came with the card. Pretty much is the blob. I slap it on there in the box out the dough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all that off, make it all nice and shiny and smooth, and remove that black case. Okay, so I've separated it, cleaned it up nicely. You really can't tell, but there's a nice mirror polish on that. I use rubbing alcohol and Q-tips to clean that all off. And now I will put in, yes, yeah, you can kind of make up, there we go. It's a nice mirror shine. Nice and clean. Oh, it's beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one small dab of the zero therm right in the middle. And I'm going to work it around with that card. You do not want a lot of thermal grease. point of thermal grease is, is just fill in all these little micro holes and cracks to get as close to the heat sink as possible. Least resistance. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. Stay tuned. As you can see, the mirror finish is gone. I applied a very thin coat of thermal grease. I will now plug this back in. And I will lower the car gently onto the heat sink. Reset holes. I'll pay attention because you do not want to move the heat sink a lot. Very little thermal grease. You do not want a lot, so you don't want movement. You don't want to put a dab on there and just drop this on and have it squish out all over the sides. Nope, there's going to be very minimal, very, very minimal squishage, as you could say. So, I'm now going to put the heat sink and the card back together. 
as you can see, I have rejoined the heat sink with the card. I have tightened the screws down in a crisscross fashion. Now ATA cards under these little screws, there are some little springs. And screw stops, I stop. There's no point in tightening that thing down, torquing it down, breaking the card. Spells disaster. There's probably a reason why those springs are there, so I'm not going to take them out. I'm not going to torque it down. Now, before you start your projects, remember to shut your computer off, pull the power cord, push the power button to drain all power, touch the inside of your case. Static electricity will fry everything in there. That one little shock you got off your doorknob, kill your computer or your graphics card. So always touch the inside of your case or wear an anti-static band. I hope this was informative. I'll be doing more upgrades. And the reason I did this because my cards were running hot. Heat is bad. So I'm going to pop these back in, do some testing.